The Lord wants to heal. In today's gospel, we see Jesus healing on the Sabbath, the Pharisees watching very closely, trying to see if he's going to mess up and they can accuse him of doing all of these things. He asks them, is it lawful to cure, to heal on the Sabbath? And they have no answer. So he heals this man and then he asks them, which of you would not save your son or an ox that had fallen? Right? So the Pharisees are experts on the law and they practice everything to the T and they know all the rituals and all the things. And the Sabbath was how they measured if you were really, really Jewish, right? If you did all the things and you listened and all the other stuff, then, then you really got it. But the Lord is healing a person, restoring them. And, and they, they question, they're like, it, I, you can't do this. Is it, is it good and okay and lawful? What is the Lord trying to do here? He's calling us deeper, right? He himself is trying to restore the Sabbath to right rest and to pray and to draw closer to him. And he's literally restoring people that are suffering so that they might rest and be able to really uh, encounter the Lord's love. And today, that's what we're invited to do, right? Jesus wants to heal us. He wants to draw us closer into his heart. Yes, it's important for us to know all the things and to, and to do all this stuff, but really the question for that I've been pondering today and, and I would invite you to ask is, where's your heart? Do you desire to know and to love and to serve the Lord? Do you desire a relationship with him? There's a lot more we can talk about, but that's really it. Is God sees you right now and he wants a relationship with you. He wants you to encounter his love in a new way right now, this day. And sometimes we get caught up in all the other things, and, but right now, right here, the Lord is inviting you into a deeper relationship with himself. So remember, my brothers and sisters, that you are loved. The Lord sees you and he knows you and he wants to encounter your heart and he wants to give you his. Please be assured of my prayers. Um, remember, the Lord loves you, and I'll see you next week. God bless you.